now that we've got a sense of the uh, 3D workspace, object, 3D types, materials, and a bit of lighting, let's apply that to some illustrative projects. I'm going to start off by creating these kind of um, 3D illustrated icons. So we'll go back to our workspace and can work down here. Um, there's a heart, a hand, and a rainbow star kind of motif. Let's start with the heart, and I'll try and work pretty quickly. I'm going to create a V-shaped vector. I'm just holding the shift down using the pen tool, press escape, um, and just want to play with the width of the stroke and we're making a heart here so quite a big stroke with a rounded cap and we've almost got a heart nice easy way of making perfect heart shape don't want to trace that out um, let's um, outline that path outline stroke so we've got a nice shape and we'll give it a, um, a red pinky kind of color. And then we can jump straight into our um, effect materials and we're going to inflate these guys. Use the inflate tool. So already pretty quickly we've got a, a nice kind of um, vignette um, and blend. Um, increase the ray trace option. I'll add the ray trace option so it increases that sort of real, realism of the specular highlights. Let's um, set the uh, rotation to off-axis front. Um, let's see yeah, off-axis front and we'll inflate the back as well. Drop down the depth. So that we've got a, a nice sort of um, photo reel cartoon slash cartoon heart shape quickly put on um, some shadow. Um, this time I do want to have the shadow behind the object as if it's um, sort of flat against the paper. Um, but I'll drop down the, I'll increase the softness quite a bit. So it's kind of subtle and bring up the, um, the shadow bound. So I've got a, a softness of about 90 a little bit more intensity on the ambient light. So that looks kind of natural, I reckon. So I'll just try and remember that for our next ones. Um, a softness of 90, and intensity about 80, maximum shadow bounds. So the next thing we're going to make is, um, be a bit, a bit smaller, I reckon. next thing we'll make is the hand. And very quickly, a hand's made up of series of fingers so I'm gonna go in close make some rounded corners on these two on this rectangle make five fingers Maybe a bit closer together I reckon and that could be a little offset as well Um, we need one for a thumb. That would be good. Uh, bit of a palm for the hand. Alright, we'll join that together. Um, we'll use the shape builder tool to do that and we can just sort of drag drive pop all those together and really quickly we'll oops round off a few of these edges Um, bring 
things up. That's what we've got to work with. This corner's a bit funny, but never mind. Move ahead. Um, make it a, a blue kind of colour. This one here. And we'll inflate it. Not happy with that corner there, but that's all right. Off axis front, uh, maybe you rotate it a little bit more. Well, that's kind of good, and we'll match this. Try and match the shadow and the spacing of our original object. Turn on the specular highlights or that thrip ray tracing. You can see it's looking a lot shinier and nicer. In our lighting, I think it was um, softness of 90, intensity of 80, and we did, oops, intensity of 80, and we did have a shadow behind it. Take that right up to the maximum. And that's looking pretty cool. Um, you can see it does look a little low res, and that's because. Um, our render settings are set to low, so we can keep working quickly. Um, we might look at um, increasing that when we get to the end of the project. Last thing was uh, a, a kind of a rainbow, and I'll, I'll um, really quickly try and get that done. Got a rainbow made out of a couple of um, uh, circles copying and pasting them in front, just bringing them down, change the colours of each of them, pasting in front, reducing the size of that, and that'll do me I think, we'll make that one red. And that one can be white. Um, the other thing I'll do just now is drag a white square across the top so I can pathfind all of this together. Um, I might have to go to the window menu to find my pathfinder. We can use this divide tool to separate all of that. And I can delete these ones that I don't want. I'm running out of time, so I might just leave the star off because you'll get the idea of this. Um, I'm going to inflate. I'm going to inflate these grouped objects because they're kind of grouped together, and we'll get a kind of a collection of objects um, all kind of inflated together, which I think is quite neat. We'll head off to. We'll get it on an angle. Um, we'll inflate both sides, and. Let's add our, um, our similar shadow. It's pretty soft. 90. We'll click off there. Okay, so there's our three. Um, our three kind of icons that we've played with. Now I'll select those and if we want to make everything um, uh, high res we need to go to document raster effects settings and change everything to 300 but remember that takes a lot of computational effort and um, I'd only recommend that for when you're kind of finishing off your project. It'll take a moment or two. There we go, we've got um, our nice sort of high res. 
looking 3D shapes. So that's great. I think this one I forgot to inflate the back. Oh, there you go. That looks much better. All right.